Hey guys, it's Room Bosses here. Uh, today we're showing you how to do a mini quest. Uh, this one is for uh, this is the one that unlocks the abyss with the Mage of Zamrock. I don't think it really has an official name or anything, but anyways, you're gonna start off in the wilderness, just travel up the river, and there he is. You're just gonna talk to him. And he'll tell you to meet him in the Varrock Temple now. I'm just going to try again. Okay, so he's going to say it nice and quick so that if you get attacked, it doesn't matter. Now, he said the Varrock Chaos Temple, which is right by Aubrey's room shop. Uh, it has, it's marked with an altar on the map. So it should be really easy to find. But anyways, just run down here just run south and then make your way by the small bank to the east and then you're gonna run down a side alley there to the south and you'll be there so to what you're gonna need at the beginning you won't need anything, but it's definitely required to have some sort of teleport to Arty, such as just a, the runes or a tab, or if you can't use a tab because you haven't completed the, the one quest you need, then I use, a, I use a skills necklace, which you can teleport right to the fishing guild and just run south. I'll speed this way up, um, so that's always nice. So just run south down here, right by, there's an ampoule, and then Aubrey's shop is right there. And then right here. Just go in this building right here. And there he is. Go inside and you're going to talk to the Mage of Zamorak. Uh Say, where do you get your runes from? Uh, he'll say some stuff. And he'll tell you about a problem to get some rune essence and you'll start telling him that a lot of other talking he starts telling the story that you don't need to listen to and just say yes he'll help him what can I do and he needs to know how to get to the uh rune essence mine that you unlocked with the rune mysteries quest he'll give you a scrying orb and then every time you go to the essence mine it will record it in there so the first one the easiest to start off with there you have to go to three out of the five available the easiest are obviously the one right here just teleport with Aubrey uh, just teleport like that there you go okay now that we are at the wizard's tower we need to go in the door and then go inside this other door just inside the building and then down the stairs into the basement which is marked as a dungeon then as you can see Cedra door is right there so just go in through the door and teleport on him and there you go the scrying orb picks it up again and now you have only one more rune essence mine you need to get to. Okay, so this is the last place we need to go to. It's right in Artie on the northeast side of the city. It's got a bunch of weird blue floor, so you'll be able to notice that on your map. Uh, just teleport wizard comp tree. There you go. And then you are done. You can see the orb has 
has changed colors now because it has your information. So now we just need to head back to the Mage of Zamorak and we're done. So you need to talk to the Mage of Zamorak one last time to complete the quest. So he will ask for the scrying orb with the information and you'll give it to him. And then you need to talk to him again to get your part of the deal, get your reward. So he gives you three things. The first is knowledge. So you get a thousand XP in rune crafting. You also get convenience and uh, the access to the abyss. So the next is convenience. You get a pouch that uh, can hold three essences. So it'll save you two spots and allow you to carry two more essences when you do your rune crafting runs. And the final is the abyss. And the abyss uh, is very useful when you get further into rune crafting, which we'll talk about later. So we need to talk to the mage once again to fully unlock the abyss. Uh, he needs to get, if you go to the wilderness and try to teleport without asking him, he will tell you you need to talk to him for the warning. So here he'll give you the warning, and basically there's just a bunch of monsters and stuff that will attack you. Uh, and want to kill you and stuff so you need to be careful of that when you're making your runs and uh, that's about and you'll also get scold so you'll drop all your items if you die uh, and that's about it so now we're gonna take a quick trip of the abyss to see what it's like okay so now that we're back at the mage of zamrock we're just gonna teleport on him And there you go. And as you can see, I'm scold. There's a lot of people. You're attacking me. Probably gonna die. So as you can see, this isn't a place you just come and mess around. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna die. But uh, when you get here, it looks like there's no way to teleport at, like right back where you came from so there's just a bunch of rings and you might want some food so see there you go you died uh... so make sure you realize that it's not a safe place and you're gonna have to find another way to teleport out there's no like portal or anything you can take so that's all for this video hope it helped you out. Remember to give it a like and comment and subscribe.